Hey guys, it's Shannon Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, for this video, we are going to be taking a look at whether we can kill the flood at the very beginning of the mission 343 Guilty Spark. So, for those of you who uh, don't know or never noticed, um, in a previous video, I actually covered this very briefly, but there is, uh, at the very beginning of the mission, there is a couple of flood that you encounter uh, at uh, you, like you see them in the distance and you see them on your motion tracker, but they never attack you So like up here in a tree, there's one and then past the tree. There's a couple more And if you look at your motion tracker, they all show up as friendlies uh, So they're all friendly floods, but you see you can see them running around your motion tracker and then up up there on top of the hill There's another one uh, and yeah, so uh, In that video, I also tried to kill them and I'll show you in a second what happens if you try to kill them. But there's several of them running around the map. And they, they are all pretty much the same. And we'll go over that in, uh, a little bit more in a little bit. But So right here, just uh, if you pay close attention to my uh, score. And I shoot one of the floods. So right now I'm at minus 12. Once I shoot it, it runs away. And then after a little bit, I lose 13 points. Meaning I pretty much betrayed a friendly. But uh, in that video, I could not find any body of the flood. And, uh, you know, I wondered if we actually killed it or not, or what happened to the body, and whether that flood can actually be killed. Well, what's actually happening is, I shot the flood, I damaged it, but then it, um, it despawns. But that still counts as, like, it dying, or, um, me betraying it, betraying a friendly. And what me and, uh, Thoda's Chaos set out to, set out to do, uh, we tried to kill the flood permanently, without mods. because uh, I could easily use the instant kill mod to permanently kill the flood. <laughs> But we wanted to try it without doing that on MCC. Now, forgive me here, but uh, during this part when we're recording, uh, MCC like glitched out or something, and the game DVR could not record it accurately, so that's why it's a little choppy. But as you can see, we did kill the flood a couple times there, like we knocked it down, but it gets right back up, and that's normal for a flood to get back up sometimes after it dies. But uh, what we tried sometimes, and it, it kind of got cut out in that clip there, um, but. That Flood comes back to life twice sometimes, if we kill it twice. Flood don't do that, they don't come back more than once normally. And we also stuck it once too, and it wasn't affected by the grenade. So it seems like it's actually invincible. And what we're doing right here is, to test that theory out, we uh, we have one person go all the way around the map to where the Flood is going to spawn before it spawns. This is uh, across from that uh, hill there. and. We, uh, we have one person wait here, and the other person continue normally through the map. So once they hit a lonely point, the flood would spawn. And when it spawns, we would pretty much unload everything on it. So right here, we're using a uh, the Shea turret on it, and it's like totally unfazed by it. So we're on easy difficulty, just so you know. And on easy difficulty, the Shea turret has no problem like shredding apart a flood in just like a couple of shots. But here, that flood was totally unfazed by it, and just completely like ignored it. It wasn't damaged at all. And even when we try like spamming grenades, like you know, like pre pre spam with it, when the flood spawns, it's also like totally unaffected by it. So this pretty much proves that these flood are actually invincible. Uh, you know, I thought you could kill them uh, in previous videos, and uh, a lot of people have since asked me like to verify that if they're actually killed, because there's no body. So if there's no body, are you sure they're killed? And I thought they could be killed because you lose 13 points when they despawn, but. Um, it seems like these flood are actually invincible, unless you use the instant kill mod on PC. But that's uh, that's beside the point right now. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, totally invincible. Uh, you can, in some cases, you can like kill them briefly, quote unquote, but then they come back to life. And if you were to kill them again, they would still come back to life again, even though they're not normally not supposed to. And I would bet that if you could kill them like more than once. Uh, then they'll just keep coming back to life over and over again until they uh, manage to run away and despawn and then you lose points. Um, I mean, there's no points on Classic Halo, but um, yeah, they'll, they'll just despawn. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, to answer everyone who asked this question, as it turns out, these Flood are actually invincible and I totally never knew that before. It's That was uh, pretty new to me and um, I don't know if anybody else like knew about it beforehand, but yeah, it's, it's pretty shocking to me. And that's, like I said, that's the case with all the other Flood. All of them are the same, the ones that spawn at this part of the mission that show up as friendly. Uh, even the one, this one down here, 
we uh, got to it before it spawned, and it's, you can knock off its arms and everything, but it will never die. It will just ignore your shots, and um, yeah, just despawn after a little bit. And then when, when it despawns, if you had shot it, then you lose points. But yeah, so these Flood are not only are they friendly, and they despawn, but they're also invincible. And I, I always assumed that like the the body just like fell somewhere that I couldn't find, but uh, they yeah they just don't despawn, and some of them are even immune to headshots apparently. So that's uh, that's another odd thing about them. But yeah, so I guess uh, if you guys never noticed this or knew about this, then hopefully you guys find it be interesting because I certainly never knew about it. But yeah, so that conclusively uh, solves that little question that the flood here are indeed invincible. So yeah, hopefully you guys did find this to be interesting and enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, as always, you know, make sure to leave a like. And if there's anything else you want to check out or look into, just you know, I'm always happy to look to uh, look into it if I can. So just let me know. Just something you want me to check out in the comments. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.